Hey guys, what's up? This is Debarshi here, and today we are going to talk about the new IMAX. Yes, Apple has finally introduced new IMAX for 2019. The last time they updated these IMAX was 2017. As a note, I should mention that the IMAX design has not changed, unfortunately. It sports the same bezels, the same razor-thin design, which... I am kind of worried about, given the fact that we have upgraded these IMAX to quad-core, hexa-core, and octa-core processors. I think there's going to be a lot of issues with thermal throttling. This iMac is going to be powerful, but it won't take advantage of its full potential for power. But besides that, I will say it is good that we have finally had a performance upgrade. Apple's website boasts about these performance improvements do not concentrate so much on the turbo boost speeds. Apple products literally never reach their peak capacity because of thermal issues, and this device is no exception since it has a very razor-thin design package. Let's start with the 21.5-inch IMAX, which feature 8th generation processors. Totally ignore this baseline configuration. Nobody is going to use a dual core processor in 2019. This is the standard 7th generation Core i5 model. Highly recommend against it. The new baseline model starts off with a 3.6 gigahertz quad core 8th generation Intel Core i3 processor. I think for average users, this will actually be an okay model. It comes default with 8 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. For the 21.5 inch model, it is difficult to upgrade the RAM. If you need more memory, just add more memory in when you are buying this device. It comes with a one terabyte hard drive by default. That is somewhat disappointing given the price, $1,299. Two Thunderbolt 3 ports, as you'll see, this device is configurable up to a Core i7 hexa-core processor that costs an extra $300 and up to 32 gigabytes of RAM and up to a one terabyte SSD. Put your total at $2,999. And of course, that does not include tax. This is a pretty expensive device. If you're wanting the best bang for your buck, I recommend the mid-tier model with the Core i5 processor. This is still a hexa-core processor. For most people, this will be more than enough for daily tasks, and it can even handle your video editing and heavy load work. So this is a 3.0 gigahertz uh, hexa-core processor, turbo boost up to 4.1 gigahertz, but as I said again, don't pay too much attention to those turbo boost speeds. For RAM, 8 gigabytes should be enough for your average users. For more heavyweight users that do photo editing and video editing, I recommend 16 gigabytes of RAM and up. That is going to come at a pretty large expense. $200 for 16 gigs and $600 for 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. The graphics card integrated into the iMac is decent, although not that great, the Radeon Pro 560X. The Radeon Pro Vega 20 series is a pretty large improvement over the 560X. The configuration I recommend for storage is 256GB of SSD storage. This is really because I feel that if you really have large projects, you can just store them outside on an external hard drive or an external SSD. Apple charges heavily on SSD storage. I recommend the baseline 256 gigs of SSD. For all average users, it's going to be more than enough. For hardcore users, obviously, you will most likely need to find an external hard disk or an external SSD. Now let's talk about the 27-inch 5K IMAX. Only one actually has a ninth generation processor. The 8th generation Intel lineup is actually really decent performance wise and I honestly think that given the chassis of the iMac, performance will be limited on the basis of that design. 
I really am not too bothered by the fact that the the two out of these three iMacs are eighth generation processors. For most people, I think that the baseline model will be just fine for 27 inch iMacs. Just for the fun of it, we're gonna configure this up to see what the maximum price could be. When you're choosing the higher end model, you have an option between a hexa-core i5 processor or an octa-core i9 processor. Let's just say we chose the i9 processor, that would be $400 more than your standard configuration. You can choose to upgrade the memory before beforehand with Apple. However, here's a secret that Apple most likely won't tell you. The 27-inch iMacs have a door at the back of the computer where you can just upgrade the RAM yourself. It really isn't that hard. So you would be saving potentially a thousand dollars just get the standard configuration with eight gigs and then if you need more ram later on buy ddr4 ram from another online source i will say i am kind of disappointed the graphics on this device come with the standard radeon pro versus the radeon pro vega series i kind of wish that radeon pro vega came standard at this price but unfortunately it does not let's just add it on for fun they put a fusion drive as standard for these higher tier computers i'm sorry but 512 gigs of ssd storage needs to be a standard pay for a computer at this price point a, a decent price for this computer would be three thousand two hundred forty nine dollars without tax not counting tax of course and that is with 512 gigs of ssd storage a radeon pro vega as well as eight gigabytes of ddr4 ram and if you need more memory you can always buy that outside for much less and a core i9 cpu so those are the new imax guys finally apple has introduced imax with eighth end if you're buying the top end 27 inch model ninth generation intel core cpus they have added new graphics options in doing so they have increased the performance capabilities of these devices. Unfortunately, it is within the same design, the same chassis. I do hope that next year, Apple will totally revamp their iMac line and create a totally new iMac. Should you buy these new iMacs? Well, that really depends. If you have a 2017 iMac, 2016 iMac or so, you will be perfectly fine with with your iMac. But if you're still rocking something from 2012 or 2013, then yeah, you may want to upgrade, uh, especially if you're doing heavy lifting work like video editing, uh, machine learning, and whatnot. Uh, that's going to be it for this one, guys. This has been Debarshi, and see you in the next one.